Welcome back to 30 Days of D&D &D with the Blue Dragon Guild. I'm Baron. I'm Dave. Today is day 13, and we are talking about our favorite dungeon. Uh, this is either from DM perspective or uh, player perspective. Uh, Dave, what is your favorite dungeon? Well, we've done a lot, and I imagine most D&D uh, &D crews have done a lot of dungeons. One that I remember was, uh, that's probably my favorite, is the Sunless Citadel from Yawning Portal. I loved running that. I liked all the aspects that were in it. There's uh, one of my, the way I ran it and the way I liked it was, I liked that there were a group of kobolds that basically you had to go help and save. And I love kobolds. And it was a fun little dungeon for us to run through with a fifth edition. So Sunless Citadel, I just really liked it. I liked that campaign. I enjoyed uh, it. That that was a fun dungeon. I, I very much enjoyed the way you did that because I'm pretty sure now this is a spoiler if you've not played that, um, but I'm pretty sure the kobolds are initially supposed to be hostile and you change them to friendly. And yeah, they're not necessarily hostile. They're kind of more neutral toward you, and I kind of made them more like uh, like a neutral good alignment, and they were kind of more like farmer-esque and just kind of you know just hanging out but yeah in, in there they're kind of more neutral toward you they're not really necessarily hostile but they're not necessarily helpful either yeah i like that what's yours um my favorite dungeon is uh i've i've got one that i ran as a dm and it was this black dragon's lair uh, you guys, you guys did this. It's where Joe Green died. Oh gosh, yeah. It, it was in that. Yeah, uh, that. It was in that uh, semi-dormant volcano, mm. and the dragons had been dabbling in some magic, and they managed to open up a portal to the elemental plane of fire. So there were all these salamanders in there that they had like taken under their control. Yeah, I remember that. And you guys managed to like break control of them, and they're like, "All right, we don't like you, but we don't like them more, so we'll help you." And I remember like there was one battle, like the salamanders like tunneled up underneath uh, some. I think it was like a half dragon that were there and like pulled them down underneath. It was it was just a ton of fun for me to run. It was a ton of fun for you guys, and then in that end fight against the the big bad dragon. Uh, Joe Green died. You said you had a second dungeon? Uh, I do. Um, I also really enjoyed your rendition of the uh, Forge of Fury from oh. the Yawning Portal. I think what I liked so much is we were down a person that game. What what I remember is is we were down a person and like it was I'm pretty sure it was Chris's character and he was outside scouting and keeping watch. We go in and we basically trip the alarm and every single orc and like this big giant ogre just comes funneling into us. And like it that that night was basically like, all right, you guys are strictly going to be doing this fight because there's just so much going on. But like it was so fun because it was just so close. Mm -hmm. and, and then like literally we just walked through the rest of the dungeon because we we killed everything. Right now. Yeah, I mean, it, it cleared it out. Um, then the fight with Night Scale was amazing. That carry that's carried on forever. Yeah, Night Scale, um, Mackenzie's character, the Bard uh, Tuok, that he talked about in the favorite characters video. He cast Tasha's hideous laughter, and you just kept rolling so bad. And it yeah, not you kept passing. Him. And like we managed to get out of there. And like it, it's it's another one of those moments where it's like, oh, if she gets to us, we're gonna have to fight, and we may or may not be able to take her. I genuinely think we could have taken her at the time, but I'm glad that we didn't because it was just such a such a great fight, and and it's turned into such a great character for us in that game. Yeah, she's kind of become the recurring villain throughout the uh, throughout the whole thing, and uh, she come after you and mess with you and stuff, and yeah. uh, we'll still be coming after you eventually until we finally take her out. Yep. Or she gets you. So this has been our favorite dungeon. Uh, come back tomorrow for day 14. And until next time, keep the dice rolling. Oh.